The Microtyrannus may look like a Compsognathus, but it's actually a descendant of the Nanotyrannus, coming in at about a foot tall, two and a half feet long, and weighing not even a pound, it is one of the smallest creatures on the island. They travel in groups of 10 to 15 members and are very social. Saying that, the more of them there are, the more aggressive they become. Alone, they are very skittish and mainly go after insects. However, in a group, they are very aggressive and will bring down prey up to four times their own size. These critters are a prime example of the saying, size isn't everything. In fact, its name means tiny tyrant. Dr. Redwood even nicknames these things the mini Deus Tyrannus. They even look like their larger relatives to the point where Magnesians often mistake it for a baby Deus Tyrannus. They also have one more trick up their sleeve. When hunting, they have infrared vision, which allows them to see their prey's heat signature, which makes it easier to locate their target. They can also use it to see predators that can camouflage, such as the Camoraptor and Malonychus, which sometimes antagonizes them. The Macrosaurus is a descendant of the Hypsilophodon, and these small herbivores live in the deepest parts of the jungles of Magnus. They travel in large groups of between 25 and 30 members, and you would often see them with herds of Paracapricornus and Perfectosaura, with the occasional Diploguanodon. Its name means Thin Lizard because of how slim and agile they are. These small herbivores can run at speeds of up to 50 miles per hour, they are very small, only coming in at around 3 feet tall, 6 feet long, and weighing as much as 30 pounds. They are very skittish, and defend themselves by having certain members act as scouts, which will make calls to warn others about danger. Their dark green color helps them blend in with the jungle and make it hard for predators to spot them. They are so good at hiding that they have no natural predators! Well. They do have one, and that is the Microtyrannus, who uses its infrared heat vision to detect its body heat. The Pygmy Belladon is a descendant of the Platybelladon that lives in the jungles and marshes of the planet, feeding on the plants that grow in the water. These pachyderms are relatively small, only coming in at about 6 feet tall and weighing about half a ton. They mainly use their shovel-like teeth for digging up roots and breaking down underwater vegetation. They also like to wallow and sometimes swim in the water to keep cool. Their trunks are relatively short, only used to help keep the food in place while eating. They travel in groups of five to eight members and prefer to keep to themselves. Although they are dwarfed by the much larger Mammothus and Mastodon, that doesn't mean the Pygmy Belladon can't defend itself. They're mainly docile, but will not back down from a fight if it absolutely needs to. They also have short but very sharp tusks, used to fight others of its kind for dominance or to fend off against predators. The males have short tusks, and the females have no tusks. The pygmy belladon can also use its body weight to its advantage by standing on its hind legs and then slamming its front legs onto the ground, which can injure or even kill those who were unfortunately underneath them. The Macropteryx is a descendant of the Archaeopteryx that mainly lives in the jungles and redwoods of the planet. They are very small, only coming in at about 2 feet tall, 3 feet long, and only weighing about a pound. Unlike the more aggressive Nanoraptor, the Macropteryx is much more docile and skittish, preferring to live high up in the trees for protection against predators. In fact, the Nanoraptor is a natural enemy and predator to the Macropteryx. 
Its name means thin wing because of its thin wings that allow this creature to glide gracefully in the sky from tree to tree. It also allows it to descend slowly to the ground to find food and to make a quick getaway when a predator is nearby. They are very fast and agile on land, but even more so in the air. The Macropteryx mainly feeds on insects and berries that they find in bushes, tree trunks, and even the ground. They mainly travel alone, but sometimes you would see them in mated pairs.